leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions, dude. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do when you need advice? Swear it's good. Good night. What am I fighting for? So turn your lights, pick up the phone, and leave a message for the new crowd. After dark. Welcome, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark. Another episode, you might say, but you might say, where's the last one? And, uh, well, you know, you already got it by this time, so shut the fuck up. So, uh, we have one question, it seems. We already previewed it, because Cameron is not here right now. Cameron is self-quarantining, sort of. His work forcibly quarantined his ass from work. Yes. Um... Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you just tell us tell us about that? Tell us about how how did that go down? Because I've heard yeah, conflicting so, reports. So this past week has been a crazy week. Um, my mom had to go get some more surgery done, and so I was in and out of the hospital helping her, you know, whatnot. And then um, I was on my way, you know, during lunch. I was just taking her home after you know she was being let out of the the hospital. Get a call from my manager and said, and he goes. Hey, uh, Tommy, who's the, you know, our coworker, his roommate has the virus, they're pretty sure, um, so they're sending us all home. I'm like, uh, come again? Uh, and he's like, yeah, uh, he got tested for everything else, and um, they're going to send it off to this, but they're pretty sure it's the virus just because it's not positive for anything else right now. And so to be on the safe side, they're going to send our team home. I'm like, Oh, so, like, we're going to be working, you know, from home the rest of the day? He's like, nope, see you in two weeks. Oh, so you're okay. not working? No, but I'm working from home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, working from home for two weeks. And so I went into, so after I dropping my mom off, I went back into work. I thought I was going to just do, like, a phone call or two and then take my stuff home. But they're like, oh, hey, yeah, just grab your stuff and get out. They didn't want me there. Jeez. I mean, yeah. that's that's good, I guess. Yeah. Um, cause that's one of the big things they're telling, telling everyone to do is kind of just distance. And so, yeah, I'm going to find out what it's like to work from home for two weeks. It might be so good. You don't want to go back. I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't know, man. I, I, I don't like staying in my house or my apartment for hours and hours and hours and just staring out the window. I mean, how much work have you had? I guess you haven't worked yet. Have you? Oh, I finished off Friday. Okay, how was that? I mean, did you have much to do? Like what? Yeah, yeah, no. It's so same amount of work. I just have to do it at home, and then I have VPN access. All the stuff I would normally have to be at work for. Yeah, I can access at home, and so that's yeah, a good push to offer work from home if it's available. Mm -hmm. um, but I, 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 I've, I don't know. I had mixed reviews of work from home when I did it because, like, I just became a disgusting human being. I just. <laughs> I would just do my stuff like during the day, and then I'd roll my computer chair over to my computer, log in, like go you know, go to work, and then I'd roll it back over to the TV and play while I'm like working, <laughs> quote unquote. <laughs> and it was just I like mean, messy. I was disgusting. I just sat in that chair for like so many hours in a day, just nasty piece of shit. Yeah. And I, I, are you worried that that's what's going to happen or what? No, like. I just I, I feel like I have a film of filth over me if I don't shower, in, you know, first thing in the morning. So I still do that, or I, I have at this point still done that. Um, I don't know. I still get dressed or ready for the day, just in case. Yeah. Someone wants to do like a, a video call conference because like a large part of my day, like I have I can't like play games or whatnot because I have to do like a lot of stuff all the time. I'm always on calls with clients and stuff like that and uh yeah i wouldn't be able to get away with that mm, yeah i mean do you are you gonna work i, I think after about a week you'll just work naked that's what will happen <laughs> or just shirt cock it and your balls will like sloppily stick to the chair and you'll have to like peel them off of the fucking chair to like make like a Jesus. little like a slight I mean, velcro sound 
I have at one point gotten on with the nude clan nude, but you guys don't know when. Yeah, we'll have to play that game. Like, who's assume, naked? Like, we just assume it's all the time. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. We got a we got a question in the chat. We can answer this first. The other question in the voicemail is similar. Uh, what do you think the government is covering up with this new virus? Uh, hmm. Sir Drank a Lot's thoughts are: it's a way to keep people home to boost the population since it's been in decline. People will be at home bored, so they'll start having sex, and boom, next wave of dumb people. <laughs> That is a good point. People are probably going to bone. It's going to be the, the Corona boomers. Yeah, the Corona the gen. Corona boomers. Mm-hmm. As long as we get rid of the regular boomers first, I don't see that as a problem. Yeah, but it. see, um, what we have this time around, which we didn't have before, is <clears throat> video games. Why would I be fifth deep in my girlfriend if I can just <laughs> deep into Dark Souls? Yeah, that's true. That that's that is true. true. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Good call. That's the only <laughs> downside. They didn't plan on uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> And DLC that no one's playing. And here's the thing too: is how many how many people I've are played introduced the DLC now, for though? three? I have. I haven't either. I've wanted to. I just haven't. This is the time. Well, I don't no... want to fight Elsa. But it has to been a mass home quarantine yet, has there? Um, for schools, yeah, but not really for everything else. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's being that uh, that's being like recommended to shut down, and a lot yeah. of places are shutting down, like the NBA, a lot of sports things. Hockey's done. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, and so, uh, also another thing, a whole bunch of my uh, coworkers were at that jazz game after finding out um, <laughs> both, you know, Goldberg and Donovan had the virus. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's hilarious that the guy was, like, fucking around, and uh, he was like, oh, maybe I have the sickness, and he started, like, fucking with everybody's stuff. And oh, then, yeah. Like, and then, then he, yeah. like, tested, and he's like, oh, fuck, I actually have it. Yeah, so, like, he was, like, touching, like, microphones and shit, and it's just funny. And that's like, you deserved it, bro. Yeah. Like, 100%. Yeah. And so, yeah. that's fucked up. But also, so like... so, I do know for, that my work on Wednesday is going to do a work-from-home day just to send everyone to go work from home just to test it out. But, yeah, my team itself has been quarantined for the full two weeks. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we got a letter for an email from my CEO for the company that I'm at saying, like, we're not done yet, like, going home. But they're like, if you have to, like, we will pay you for the two weeks, which is pretty sweet. But Yeah. Um, I don't know. My theory is still that we've had it for a little while and that people have just been getting sick and we didn't know what it was. Um, and that's probably why we're seeing these cases where it's, mm-hmm. like, where it's a community or whatever the fuck, community spread, where it's like no one has a tie to China and it's happening. I think that's probably because we've had it for months. Because it started in, like, November. And China covered it up for two months, and then we didn't start banning people from China until, like, a month ago, which is definitely later than November. So Pro- I, that's what I think. I mean, I don't know. I I don't really know how fact base that is but i think that would explain some of the like cases where no one can really figure out where the fuck it came from right it's like well it's been here for a while i think if we're gonna get into like crazy like theories too like how the government did it like if you think about it a certain way too it's like with with china when like nasa saw him like all the pollution was gone because all the factories were shut down over china like they can see china and it's like i'm interested to see like other parts of the world where everything's shutting down like what their pollution oh my god are you saying it's greta thunberg dude she's (laughs) she's a bane she's she came up she came to the football game and she's like i'm gonna fuck you up and she did and she did we're here this is where we're at now. You think quarantine is your ally? There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no standard ceremony here, Trump. <laughs> it's just it's where we're at. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> that, that makes so much sense to me. Uh, all right, let's see what we've got uh, in the voicemails. We got one. We'll listen to that and see what they ask. It's related, so. Sorry about that. Brian here again. Drop my phone like my mom dropped me. So oh shit! Okay, let's play the first one then. <laughs> I didn't realize there were two. <laughs> what a great pre- intro! What a precursor! Hey guys, definitely not uh, Brian here. From definitely not Chicago. And totally healthy. <laughs> Just wondering. Long time listener, first time caller. Just wondering with all this uh, hubbub with the coronavirus going around, if you think it's a uh, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think it's good? I mean, it's hmm. probably not good. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if it's 
as bad as it's being, you know, you know, perceived or pushed. I think it could be, and that's probably the biggest reason why it's being. I mean, treated the virus is that. bad, but the people are acting way worse. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a good thing to overreact and then underreact. Of course, um, I want to incite riots. I probably but, can't say that on live chat. But. Yeah, <laughs> just get rage against the machine in here, and we'll. An is that against good so term or service group fucking Twitch? Uh, probably. I mean, <laughs> I don't know though. If we, if we, if we, if we voice it in a certain way, we could probably get away with it. I just think the mm-hmm. best part about this virus is I might be able to live out my dream of being a warlord in a dystopian future. Nice. You know, <laughs> it's got to be positive. Yeah. You start your uh, gun collection to get that. Gun oh yeah. Sort of yeah. Ammo. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That toilet paper and sanitizer. Come it is, to me. is kind of weird that like everybody's buying out toilet paper instead of like freaking out and so buying stupid. ammo. You don't want to wipe your ass. Huh? You, you can't, can't wipe ass with like, a bullet. You can't fucking eat toilet paper. Why is that the thing people stock it up on? Dude, it's like I mean, it's toilet paper, paper towels, and hand sanitizer. Well, now if you go to the store, uh, bread and milk are gone, and fucking. And if you're really that like, crazy. You, you, really that against using your fucking hand and wet washing with soap and water afterwards and just like get a cheap amazon bidet and just go with that yeah yeah i uh, i don't know uh i don't know why bidets seem dirtier i just don't know if i like the idea of <laughs> yeah, water I don't know if I'd like the idea of slamming my ass it will change your life but twice still. and your sexuality yeah. <laughs> That's why everyone in Europe then, is gay. It's you your prostate. Hand, it's like, use, use like fucking dish towels and then bleach them afterwards and like in soap and water and whatnot. So here's my theory on why that's happening. I think it's, uh, I think a lot of it is everyone knows that we need to be prepared for these kind of things. Like everyone's always been telling you, hey, have storage, have stock up on the necessities, stock up on this, stock up on that. In case something bad happens, and then something bad happened where this started kind of breaking out, and it's not the worst thing ever. It's not. I mean, we're not talking like Hurricane Katrina here. We're not talking like. I mean, people acting like that in the fucking grocery store. I know. I know. I think people what standing in line. I'm like, oh, I'm about to start myself quarantine. I just need like you know just enough groceries to get me through. Like I'm not worried about stocking up on food. I just need you know groceries, so I want to go to the grocery you store hit, for a minute. You hit the liquor store right though. That's most important. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm standing there in the fucking like this is like. 11 o'clock at night um and uh like the whole like the, the fucking grocery store the smiths is fucking packed at this time of night right and i thought like i was gonna go later just so i can miss the crowds but no everyone's fucking there and the place is fucking trashed like there's bags of pasta that are broken open strewn across the floor oh my god all the fucking like paper towels and like uh, toilet paper just gone nothing and then fucking, like, all the bottled water's gone. But then if you go down the fucking, um, you know, not the, there's another drink aisle next to the bottled water aisle. People are leaving behind the gallon jugs of purified water, like the store brand stuff. And so it's just like, <laughs> number one, it's cheaper. And you and there's a lot of water there. I, don't, I just don't understand why people have to get the luxury items that they're yeah. buying. Right. But anyways, I'm standing there in line fucking shaking my head with my, like, cart full of maybe 10 items and then everyone else just carts just fucking full of just shit so i'm standing there 15 minutes shaking my head and i'm like oh wait and so i leave line and i go find the biggest pack of bottled corona i could <laughs> through that in my cart and now i have to stand in line for another 20 minutes but this time i'm standing there like a fucking smug bitch just like <laughs> fucking see you guys <laughs> yeah. The best part is I don't even really like Crota that much. No, it's not very good. I got a I got a six pack, and I'm like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna drink all of this. <laughs> you know, your dedication had, to the like, joke though. Yesterday, cool. I slammed like uh, I think it was something close to eight of them just uh, playing last night. I think they've upped the alcohol on the Coronas. I can't. They have. Okay, I was gonna sure. say because like a little, I I had a couple, and I was like. I can kind of feel it starting, and I'm like, that's not right for two normal beers. And so that makes me feel yeah, less. Yeah, so after the eighth one, I was like, oh, wow, I feel like I've had a couple shots of alcohol already. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. I don't think it's very good beer, though, unfortunately. No, no, no. Uh, it tastes, it's very strong, and the uh, it, there are beers that are it's equally. Like very strong beer flavor. There's nothing else to say. Yeah, you yeah. You gotta put the lime in there, bro. What are you doing, white boy? I know. I should have gotten some limes. I, should, I could probably go back to the grocery store and grab some limes you maybe should. later. Yeah. So my theory on all of that is uh, I think why 
people are stocking up is because we know that there's you know it's the it's the it's the allegory of the flood right the 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 mass flooding of the world like it's always going to come like there's always going to be that big disaster that happens that's like that why that myth is so huge across the whole planet like in places that don't have never even flooded there's like the myth because it's the idea that like you're going to get fucking sideswiped by something so large that it's going to fucking ruin your world, right? And my, my theory on why everyone's panic buying is because everyone knows that. We've all been talking about it. It's been a story. It's been an allegory for, you know, tens of thousands of years in human history. But no one fucking prepares for it ever. They're always like, well, I mean, I know I should have this, but I just don't. And then when something like this happens where it's like, oh, wow, a lot of people are getting sick from this. We might have to quarantine. Suddenly now everyone's like, holy shit, I should have all this shit set aside because, like, I've never done this. Like, I, I've always pushed it aside. And now there's something that's – it's not like a – like I said before, it's not like a Hurricane Katrina thing where there's no electricity and people are sitting on their roofs because their homes are flooded, you know. It's not that disastrous. Um, but it could be, you know. It could have been a massive earthquake. It could have been Yellowstone exploding and then there's no, you know, electricity. There's Yellowstone explodes. We're fucking dead. There's no amount of pre-buying that to save yeah. us from that. Well, we would be, we would have to stay inside. I don't think we would be dead. Uh, the, mol- the, the, like, death zone is... Look at the, look at the blast zone from Yeah, the that. blast zone yeah. would take us out. It's like midway down Utah. I don't know if it was... I don't remember being that far. I remember it being a lot of... Or were we in the ash zone? We're in the ash zone. The so ash we would zone. be in the suffocate to death zone. Um, but, like, something like that. It's not something super, super terrible, but I think everyone realizes that they've been underprepared for so long right. that now they're like, okay, now we need to prepare. And, and maybe then, this is will be like the eye-opening, too, where it's like after everyone's supposed to be fucking assholes, they'll be like, we should actually prepare or something does happen. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's what a lot of it is. Um, I don't... The, the toilet paper thing is still kind of weird. I mean, it is I don't like even a. Know where they're fucking storing it all? I know, like some people are trying to sell it off, like it's fucking. Dude, they're getting in trouble. Did you see that thing that Cox put out? I uh, know. They, 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 they... The fucking hog sounds. <laughs> over fucking Facebook call. Uh, apparently, in uh, in Utah, you can't like in a crisis, you can't sell like I like needed items for over ten percent. So all these people are getting fucked without hoarding everything. Get ten percent just to make a ten percent. Oh, and they're saw, like, well, they're seeing a too. dude that has like seventeen thousand bottles of fucking hand sanitizer. Yeah, I saw it's that like, too. and he has nowhere to sell them. It's like, yeah, because he's a fucking dumbass. Yeah, Amazon and like eBay like shut everyone down, like everyone, and they're like, fuck you guys. I'm like, yeah, way to go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is there is val- economic value to price gouging during these things but not from like individuals from companies right. yeah, and the idea yeah, is that if you if you really really need it yeah if you really really need it then you'll buy it that's the idea of like price gouging I don't think it works when it's people buying a ton and then reselling it though I don't think that's part of that no like, I don't think it idea um, so that's good that they're shutting it down uh, so that's kind of my um, theory on it we should finish this guy's message though <laughs> I know. That's what I was about to say, yeah. I think that's why everyone's ba- panic buying, though, Cameron. I think that's why it's such a big deal is because they know they should have been prepared, and now it's like, okay, well, now we really have to get prepared just in case. Yeah. So let's see what this guy finishes up with. Sorry about that. Brian here again. Drop my phone like my mom dropped me. That's why I'm so special. Uh, I was saying the coronavirus, do you think it's a good argument for universal health care, whereas you have all these uninsured people out there not going to the doctor when they're sick, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Being infectious, or would it be a bad thing with it just overwhelming the healthcare system with everybody being in a serious nippy fit about it? Uh, also, obviously it's affected the games industry a little bit with uh, canceling shows and such. Do you think a uh, possibility of games getting delayed because of it maybe not being able to work at the studios I guess they could do all that from home and uh, third question when is it okay to kill my asshole of a neighbor for all the toilet paper they're working because uh, I'm about out and I'm getting <laughs> sick of uh, all these people reacting like children thank you bye okay um I don't think uh, I'm going to tackle the easy question first before we get into the fucking political one. Um, but I think more than games being delayed, it's the new next generation of console. I, I think is going to be delayed. Yeah, agreed. 
Um, it's because the hardware that's ne needed to uh, build, you know, the PlayStation 5, the next Xbox, whatnot, all that they're going to be behind on because China hasn't ramped up production, um, you know, preparing for this next Christmas season. So what we're either going to see either prices be a lot higher than they would have been, or we're going to see console or hardware delays more than we would see game or software delays. Yeah, I could see that being... Uh... And so I'm now seriously debating whether or not I should pick up that PlayStation 4 Pro that I, you know, thought about. Yeah. I was like, oh, PlayStation 5 is coming out soon enough, but it might be delayed. So there might be some merit in actually using a better PlayStation. Right, and that's something that I was. We actually were talking about. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Is I wanted the Pro because I don't think yeah. my PlayStation is going to handle Doom Eternal because Doom made mine like freak out. And uh, is I Doom, about it. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm thinking. I might pick up a pro. Well, we'll see when it gets closer to summer when things like E3 usually had happened. Uh, Sony's been doing their own uh, announcements like the Nintendo Direct where it's just like a video, you know, like nobody has to go to anything to like yeah. see it. So um, I, I'm imagining that they're, they're going to announce shit for PS5 there. Um because they, they announced that it was going to be sometime this year for its release. So I'm still expecting November, December. Uh, but we'll have to wait till Sony says something about it, whether or not they're... It's just, it's just you can't really... I mean, yeah, we, we're going to have to wait just to see how much product they already have. But you, you can't um, say it's going to be 100% because... You know that we haven't had those parts made. They haven't been the factories haven't been producing it because there haven't been people working. Yeah, and that's the biggest issue. Yeah, uh, I I could see that happening. Um, and so soon you're going to see hardware or you know for all sorts of electronics and stuff go up in price. Especially if you want to if you're thinking about building a PC here soon with your tax returns. Sooner is probably better than later because prices of older um, uh, hardware are just going to go up now. Yeah, I, I think it also brings a good discussion point to like how much we rely on China for manufacturing and stuff like that. And I mm -hmm. mean, one of the big pushes is like. You know, there's a lot of industry that people have claimed in the past that could never come back to the United States because it's just so cheap elsewhere. I think this is a good this is a good eye opener to like, well, if we're gonna have to deal with these kind of fucking viruses every like four or five years from these bastards, maybe we should like consider not having our economy based on their right. trash one. Because <laughs> like they have they have the world's biggest economy, but I mean California has the country's biggest economy, and you, if you try to tell me that it's the best, you're fucking lying. Like it's just not true. You know Utah's is way better than California's. It's not nearly as big, but it's more sound, and that's the problem that we have by relying on on all these Chinese parts. Is they this shit happens like all the fucking time. Like in my lifetime, it's happened like five times with these fucking bullshit viruses from their disgusting unregulated food markets where they're like eating bats like it fucking came from bats what the fuck who eats bats I mean, did, did it really come from bats no, that's, that's, or that's or, the main, it was greta thunberg we just talked about it or we was exactly it greta thunberg it yeah <laughs> we know exactly where it came from it's that greta thunberg kami <laughs> trying to ruin <laughs> capitalism with china doesn't she know biological warfare is not allowed yeah that's a that's against the she doesn't geneva <laughs> convention she doesn't Packed, like what the fuck? More like the Geneva <laughs> suggestion. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> the Geneva, like the Geneva fucking fortune cookie. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think it's a, uh, it's a good, it's a good call to not have so much reliance on these places. That, I mean, yeah, it's cheap, but what there's a big cost to that as well, and we right. can see that cost right now. With all these supply chains and things being shut down and like the, because like the downturn in the economy right now is solely based on that. Like if it were based on anything else, it would be a legitimate crash and it's really not. It's kind of like a, it's just a lack of supplies that's driving everything right. into the hole. You know, like in 2008, the problem was underlying problems with the, the economy and like the, the structure of it. Right now we don't have those structural problems. Um and I think we are going to see some delays, like Craig said, with consoles. And I don't know about with games. 
We might because of quarantining, but I don't think it's going to affect games nearly as much. But the consoles, the hardware, I mean, if all those parts are in these countries that are shut down completely, then yeah, of course we're going to see delays in the right. PlayStation 5, which sucks because my PS4 is like fucking dying. <laughs> like it's having... I played my PS4 for the first time since I've had it for however many years. It wasn't as dusty inside as I thought it would be, but uh, cleaning it, it's actually doing a lot better than it was before. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you should take yours apart and just dust it out. I've blown. I've, yeah. I've, You've I've, what? I've blown it. <laughs> I've blown I haven't taken it apart to blow it, though. Yeah. No, I haven't taken it apart. See, I, was, I wasn't worried, and then I told Craig last night my fucking PlayStation had like a heart attack, which almost gave me a heart attack. Like, I went to like get into the, the chat with Craig, and everything just went black, and all the sound went off, and I was like, what the fuck? And I sat there for like 30 seconds, like praying to whatever god I could think of. Yeah. <laughs> and then it started up again. I was like, oh, thank god. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I could see that really happening. Um, do I think it's a... Okay, the other... What was the rest of it? It was just the political one. So, he wants one. to also know, is this a case or a good case for universal health care? As well, he wanted to know when it was right to attack his neighbor for all the toilet paper yeah. he stole. And I say immediately. I say... Survival of the fittest in these times. Yeah, uh, fucking these times. get, like, pitchforks and torches and, you know, round up your other neighbors and be like, hey, this fucker is hoarding, so let's, <laughs> right. let's loot him. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta take yeah. one person out to make the community whole. The That's P- how it works. The PvP zone is now. <laughs> yeah. PvP. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's infected. He's it. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> you just need the paper, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, luckily, I, I I just bulk buy most of those things anyway, so like I don't have a problem with that. Um, you could always just steal it from work, though. Like just I've go always to... just had tons of toilet paper at home, just because yeah, I, I shit most most of the time. I have to shit when it's at work, so yeah, I, it's it's crazy, and it's it's making it hard for some people that actually just need it, like because they don't buy it in bulk; they just buy it regularly, <laughs> right? Uh, but that's good. Good uh, proposal to be prepared. So, yeah, take them out. Take some toilet paper. Uh, I would resort to... Cannibalism. Know, well, I was going to say, I was going to say, like, stealth missions to steal it first and then maybe take them out, but... Dude, you I, could you cannibal. Gotta, you could eat them instead, I guess. Dress up a solid snake and then rob your neighbor. Yeah, yeah you just get some hardcore uh, camouflage going on. <laughs> Dude, the nude clan will reign this supreme This robbery in this, produced by this... Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Some like time. hipster song plays as you're like crawling over there. <laughs> some low roar. Yeah, some low roar. <laughs> so Schweiss? Schweiss? Schweiss! <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. I don't know. It's a good. Uh, I, I, I think, I hope people that have a ton of extra stuff, I mean, I, I wish there was more of a community effort to kind of help out. But. You see, well, I think the problem, too, is here in Utah, they say there is. They say that, like, oh, we're, we're this family. But they're fucking not. Like, you see what's going on. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's really, if, if that's really representative of that as much as. I'm just saying, I haven't seen any of my neighbors helping each other out. Yeah. I mean, like, I've offered the only, like, people in my neighborhood. I'm like, hey, if you need to start shopping, let me know. Like, I'm going. Yeah. But it's like, I haven't seen anyone else. Like, Well, the the thing is, is you're also not part of the major community in the state. So it's hard, it's easy to say that you don't see it when you're not looking where it's at. I guess. But, I mean, like, my mom's still LDS. And, like, it's one yeah. of those things where it's like, you know. Does she go? I yeah. mean, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm a disappointment. Because I, I, I know they... <laughs> Because I know they're canceling, right. they're canceling all the stuff. So I mean, I'm sure yeah. they'll do well, some kind of. Well, but you said that. And I was driving past, like, your house, uh, like that church over there, up like the street up. It's still got people going to it. Oh like, really? The par- I thought they canceled. Church. I, I thought so too, yeah. but the parking lot yeah. was full. Huh. It did totally cancel. Church, it wasn't as full so. as it, as oh, it no. usually was on Sundays, but like there was like this thirty cars into, there. Like cases over in Iran, where you know this dude had the virus, just pulled the quarantine, but he went to fucking mosque anyway infected everyone there this is now gonna same thing here but some mormons are gonna be doing it probably yeah, maybe God. it's our faith our faith will keep us clean god dude doom eternal is the game coming out but i feel like it's gonna be real life in a little bit we're gonna just have to like blow people down <laughs> it's not corona eternal into- <laughs> See, that's another thing people aren't fucking turning into zombies people's guts aren't falling out as soon as they get this virus they are turning into zombies and they're buying all the toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> they're not cool zombies they're bitch zombies like <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah. 
It's like if people get this, Must they're gonna be sick be for a, like a week, a week and a half, and then they're gonna be fine. <laughs> Itchy. I yeah. Mean, I guess you know if you, it's, it's the, the you know the older generation is what we have to worry about. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's it's just like I feel like yes, we need to take steps to prevent it, but then also part of the you know part of the problem is we're making this virus sound like it's insane which is making people panic and go out and panic by yeah i think it's been way blown out of proportion it's not that you shouldn't take it seriously like don't don't think that i'm saying don't take this shit seriously and also don't think that i'm saying don't social distance and keep away from each other because my theory i really do think that I do really think that this has been here for months and we're only just finding out about it now. And even if it's not, it doesn't matter. It's the death rates are really high compared to other diseases, but we also don't have any testing going on. There's like some kind of shortage going on with that. I don't really know what the fuck's going on with testing kits, but you have to realize that, yeah, there's a lot of dead people compared to people that have been confirmed sick, but almost no one has been confirmed sick and it hit a fucking old folks home in in Washington and it's killing a ton of people up there that's why the death rate is so high so like right it, i mean it's like flipping a coin twice it's 50% heads 50% tails the longer you flip i mean odds are it'll still remain 50-50 but we're talking like way more odds way more variables here but the more spread out it is the more of a chance of this being reduced the more testing right. cuz people like the basketball player like gobert or whatever the fuck his name is he he's not gonna die from it he was fucking around like maybe i have it like touching a bunch of shit just like stupidly but i mean you know it's like everyone's blowing it out of proportion he probably didn't even think that he might have actually had it because it's like it's like oh it's so deadly and he's like oh i can't possibly have it and then he has it and he's gonna be fine you know a lot of people are gonna be fine from this thing but that doesn't mean we should spread it and we shouldn't be careful to not spread it to the elderly and kill those fuckers off like it's because it's very dangerous for them or people with underlying health conditions did we like uh, want to tackle the or, or our opinions on universal health care yeah sure we could do that gotta answer the questions man it's true i don't want to make it political they do <laughs> i mean i do too but keep, keep it short it's like it's <laughs> i feel like, like people underneath the table just to make it political <laughs> we can get into I, that. I just feel like you can use any sort of like health crisis to be like, oh, we need a universal health care. Yeah, and, like whatever you say, like you can make a point, and uh, people that lean towards that way of thinking or even that have done that the whole entire time. Like they don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say they don't care, but it's you can choose any sort of medical thing. We could have used H1N1 back in like what 08, 09, whatever the fuck. Yeah, for the same thing, you you could have used it. So yeah. really, you're saying it can? It's a it's a bias confirming. I I, I would thing. I would so say it's people. Biased. I'm are, not gonna say people don't deserve it. Like, it'd be nice to like not have to pay doctors. But I mean, like, I'm at a place like a a good place where like I don't have to worry about it because my work has made it that way. I yeah. have health insurance and good health insurance, and I don't have to worry about it. But like, I can't speak for people who don't. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that the same people that think that the federal government is botching this thing. Are also the people that want the federal government to provide them with the heal, the cures oh, yeah. for these things. It's that like, pisses me off. All the no, time. you don't understand. Like they're retarded they're because retarded. it's just there's so many of us that they can't not be retarded at trying to take care of us. And you know that because you're screaming about, you're screeching about it in your autistic tones yeah. all the time. Right. And it's like you, you think they're going to be able to do this right? Like they can't do anything right. Well, it's it's like they're, just they're bitching about like oh like it's the rich millionaires that like control the government. It's like that's not going to stop. Do you think it's going to stop? Yeah, it's you it's know what happens it. in socialist, uh, you know, dictatorships. Rich the, get richer. Exactly, poor poor. it's the same. Yeah, like it's uh, yeah. So no, I think that's a stupid. <laughs> well, they're argument. always going to compare to healthcare systems, you know, abroad that seem to be working just fine. And uh, I mean, I guess we could look at the British healthcare system to see it's, how it's helping them. Fuck right now, them. Part of <laughs> yeah, you've lived there. How was that? Oh, uh, I always tell a story of I, I cut myself with a knife. I got a little scar right there. Yeah. And the chick went to stitch me up, and she put, like, the, the shot in my arm to, like, numb it. Numb it. And I saw the needle go through, like, ac- underneath the cut, and I was like, oh, shit. And she, like, did the, did the thing. She squoze it, and all the shit came out, and they stitched up my arm, and I could feel everything. And so it just kind of pissed me off. Stitches kind of hurt, huh? Well, yeah, but, like, I wasn't numb. I was like, hey, I'm she, not numb. And she just kept going. Fucking numbing agent I was pissed. And, but then I, I sat there for three fucking hours, and I'm like, I'm bleeding a lot. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, I, I did, I, I didn't make like a, like a, like a Vader or anything, did I? Mm-hmm. Like, that's the biggest difference between American healthcare and you know healthcare, you know, that's more socialized in other countries where you know it's common practice. If you are sick for something, you just go to the emergency room and get right. that looked at. Whereas here, you only go to the emergency room if, if if it's a fucking emergency. Right. And I think too is I, I went to a doctor's office the first time. Like I got, I was on my mission for this, so we had like a, a church member like drop us off. So I get dropped off at this hospital, and they're like, "Oh, you don't have like you're not with us. Like you don't have like our insurance, so we can't see you." And I was like, "Oh." That, okay. Yeah, that's kind and of. I'm like, I thought it was all you, NHS, and they're like, network, no. And I'm like, put a fucking sign up outside <laughs> of your, outside of your network, and then it's so expensive. Stupid. But I feel like that's more of an issue with just how insurance is set up right now. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's because um, insurance is not having scam. universal health care. But <laughs> I think the real question is, we don't have to debate, you know, the two different forms of health care. Do you think universal health care would be better? to tackle kind of a pandemic like this. I, th- I think during a pandemic, they should do free testing at least. I think it, to get out of the way my, and to make sure like the populace is safe, it would be an interesting idea. My sister-in-law is a nurse, and she's been telling me that like all these people keep going to the hospital to get tested for the coronavirus, and the hospitals don't have enough tests to fucking, like, test all these fucking people that keep coming in for, like, the flu and think that they have corona. Yeah. Like, and, uh, you know, the tests cost, like, a shitload of money, especially How's if South you don't Korea have, like... Because South Korea is by far tested more of their populace than anywhere else. They've shut down everything completely. That's how they're succeeding. They've shut down everything. Like, nothing, everything they, came they, to a they, grinding they've halt. they had thousands and thousands of people tested, though, too. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know what the problem with the tests are. I don't, I've never, I haven't really I found know. evidence of what, like, No, did you like, see that, like, one of, one of, like, the world's richest men in, like, China or whatever just donated a bunch of, like, supplies, and one of them was, like, tons of tests. Yeah, I don't know why this test supply chain is... I, I, don't I don't either. It, it's on. weird. It shouldn't. I don't uh, know. I maybe just, they weren't prepared either. I mean, like, yeah. it sounds shitty, but maybe they're just like, no, nah, it's fine. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I would say no. I don't think it'd be better. Um, and I think Craig's on to something there because there are a lot of people panic. If you think panic buying is a oh, problem, yeah, it's, panic it's going panic to the buying, hospital. And then, yeah, they're panic like, going to the I mean, hospital, yeah. too. And, and there's, there's people, people that are actually... They're, 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 they're even people. robbing the fucking hospitals. Yeah. Like, they're, they're taking hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and stuff. And, like, apparently somebody even robbed one of the local police stations here yeah. in, in, in uh, Utah. So like, I got a friend who's a nurse up in Salt Lake, and she said their, their masks are on lockdown now, and they only get one mask yeah. a day. Yeah, people are yeah. Like, constantly asking for masks and stuff, yeah. too. Like, and they're, they're, yeah. and it's, if you think panic buying is a problem, panic going to the hospital when you're not actually that sick is going to be way more of an issue yeah, if you they have, have that. Like, right. They yeah. have a symptom, or they sneeze like a couple times, and then they're like, oh, fuck, I have corona. They know, so it's, they they know it's allergy tested. season two, right? It's allergy season right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that's what I'm getting, yeah. I, I was like, oh, fuck, what if I have it? And I'm like, now I probably have allergies because I don't have a fever. Yeah. Right, yeah. And then and one you of the... were telling me earlier, Shwai, so when you get tested, I'm like, well, as soon as I start feeling like I'm getting sick, I will. Yeah. There's no point to do it beforehand. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that it it makes it unfair for people that are actually very sick. They can't get in because they're being they're being like pushed out almost by these long lines and these people that aren't actually sick that are just right. afraid. Yeah, and, and that that wouldn't change regardless of it being uh, social health care. Yeah, or not. in fact, it might even be more flooded. Worse, yeah. You know? so. so Bernie Sanders is a retard. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, we already knew uh, that. But... We almost dodged it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, if you trust the opinion of a useless person, a professional useless person whose first job was government, first and last useless person, first and last job was a government position. Uh, I'm just sorry that that's your role model. I'm sorry. Um, really, though, I don't think I don't think it would help. Um, there, and, and you know, it's just like what Zach was saying, like. If you already thought that that was what you should do, then you're going to think that's what you should do. If you thought that it isn't, then you're going to think it isn't. So, like, I'm obviously biased, too, because I thought before, no. And I think now, no. And I'm going to think after, no. Right. Uh, And I feel like, as well, like, if you just pay attention to what they're saying, where it's like, try to stay inside more, wash your fucking hands. Yeah. Sneeze and cough in your arm. If people create habits during this time... I think we're going to get people less sick overall during flu season because we're, you know, practicing good hygiene habits that, you know, will stay effective in the long run. Right. Yeah. 
better than any fucking flu vaccine would be, be just because the flu changes strains so frequently. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, I've, and I've never gotten a flu shot. I'm not like conspiratorial about you know, it. I yeah. never got I a just flu haven't shot either. I have yeah. to. Until last year. So. I got a flu shot because one, it was super easy because they brought it into work and so, and they paid for it. And so I'm like, yeah, why not? And part of it was I, one time I did get the flu and man, it fucking just destroyed me. For oh, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. so, I got it as a kid. It was bad. So because like I have like asthma and like even though it's like gone away for the most part, I have to get one every year. I had, I had asthma when I got it too. It sucks. And I was it was I was basically just coughing. I wasn't like yeah. shitting or vomiting. Yeah, I was just shame. coughing, and I it was bad. So like I and I, I get them just, I get them yeah. for free because my mom's a nurse, and they let her take one for her and one for like a family member. So I just, yeah. just brings them home, and she just. Yeah. I was just uh, I didn't vomit or shit or anything like that, but <laughs> I was feverish. The chills and the shakes and the, the, you know all yeah, that. And just yeah, yeah. Sweating profusely for two weeks. The body and I aches. Was fucking out. Yeah, it's rough, man. The flu is brutal, and this is like, it's it seems like the symptoms are way less brutal. But if you're old, it's a big deal. So that's why, right? Make a yeah. big deal about it. Oversell the the risk to everybody to you know make it less likely that it's going to be a pandemic. Right. I mean, it already is, but, like, less yeah, of a pandemic it than is. it could what, be. What's been really nice is I haven't heard one anti-vaxxer say shit on my Facebook page. <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> I haven't heard a damn thing. I don't, don't ruin my... It's been <laughs> so nice. What are the anti-vaxxers saying about this? You just need stupider friends, that's all. Well, thank God I don't, because they piss the fuck out of me, dude. I just anti What, what can an anti vaxxer say about this? There isn't even a, a coronavirus vaccine yet. That it's a it's a conspiracy. Canada's working on one. Yeah, yeah. I saw someone else was too. I can't remember. Yeah. Who. Yeah. Someone posted. I think it was Zach because you're the one who posts everything on Facebook about how I, the NHL gets uh, canceled and shut down. Oh yeah, it was me. Has a cure for it next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm your local meme lord. Justin and, yeah, Trudeau. Justin Trudeau does. His wife has it. So. Oh man. Yeah, right. wouldn't that be a shame? Poor Trudeau. Yeah. Poor Trudeau. Oh, fuck, I can't say. I don't speak French. I'm not a pussy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce his name in French is pussy. Oh, speaking, of, uh, <laughs> yeah. speaking of that, I'm surprised Joe isn't over there right now. I, yeah. thought, I thought Joe was afraid for his like grandparents and stuff. Yeah, not what he was saying. He's afraid of Corona. He won't leave the house. Yeah, his parents are. He's got older parents too. He's the youngest. Oh really? Yeah. yeah we want to so. make sure Joe's family's safe for him. Yeah. And I'm kind of pissed because I wore I don't my. Think his parents I, are older than. Mine. I wore I wore my Bloodborne shirt because I know how much he loves it, and he's not here. I'm pretty upset. I don't know. I don't know if they are. That would have been the official meeting and slash passing of the tour. I know. I've never never met Joe. Oh, you've never met him? Never met him. No. Oh, wow. I played with him a few times online, but I've never actually met Joe. Wow, that's interesting. Maybe he's just a myth. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Zach computer. is Joe. The, the redheaded myth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Zach, do you remember any time before Nude Clan? <laughs> I don't. The redheaded enigma. Did something happen to Joe <laughs> when you put his memories into my head? The ginger enigma. <laughs> the ginger enigma. <laughs> Man, that's a close. Are you gonna close Are you gonna give me the gingivitis? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> we need to We need to transform you. We've never seen. I've never seen, yeah, we've never seen the two of them in a room together. No. That must mean they're the same person. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the only explanation. I mean, I know how to speak to women, so it's probably not, but. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Oh, Joe's actually watching. Burn. But is he? Is he watching? <laughs> Burn! I would like to meet you, Joe. I really would. Is he watching? Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I think you just got to. I think it's good that we're closing the schools down because kids, I mean, even though they don't really get hurt from it, it seems like they kind of, it passes through them because they're really strong. Kids are crazy right. strong. It's a breeding ground for filth because kids are just nasty fuckers. No, and they're sponges. Like, they get everything and just yeah. doesn't affect them. Like, it's just... And, like, daycare, like, <laughs> daycare absolutely no fucking way. So, like, I guess some of the daycares are still staying open, though, to help, like, so I have a friend who she's a single mom and it's, like, kicking her ass because she's trying to work. As well as like, and they come up with the school canceled. So I, I get like people's like apprehension to it, but yeah. as well like, we we gotta figure out something to like to stop this thing. Yeah, because I just want my movies to come out on time. God damn it! <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> These movies getting pushed back. What movies? The only, the only movie that's gonna remain in theaters is Sonic. Yeah. Uh, so I know. <laughs> yeah, the, the the trillion dollar Sonic movie. <laughs> Dude, it's been doing it's been doing really well. Perfect timing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm interested because... That like, would be really funny if it's box office, like, grows <laughs> yeah. immensely, just because it's the only one so, left. So <laughs> Disney's, like, releasing releasing movies, too. Like, they released Rise of Skywalker and Frozen 2 early on digital download. So I'm kind of hoping some of the other places do the same. Yeah. Like, yeah. New Mutants got pushed back for the 17th time. I was hoping uh, <clears throat> I was hoping the Disney stock would have dropped more, but it actually went up um, after the national emergency was was, was established. That's well, they sad. like they uh, delayed indefinitely that Mulan movie until like the Corona's done. I think. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. 007 got pushed back to November. How did they delay it indefinitely? How is that possible? Because people, I were, think it's uh, already done filming, but they're just not going to release no, it. No, they were doing the uh, they did the the big uh, like premiere. They already oh, did, did they? the premiere, yeah. Oh, they yeah. Did, so they did the premiere, and then like they're not releasing it in theaters because... Well, really? Mm-hmm. Really? What the fuck? Yeah. Dude, no, tons of people are doing it. Like, tons of movies are getting pushed back because they're like... Because they, they know want... people will be irresponsible. Yeah, that one... Yeah. Uh, that one you the, blue pill the bastards! Pacif- <laughs> that one, the pacifier version of, uh, you know, Dave Bautista's movie or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. My Spy or whatever. Oh, yeah, that yeah. That one also got delayed. Yeah, uh, his I'm a really big guy, but I got a sensitive side movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one they always have to have, yeah. Classic. Yeah. But thank God the hunt came out. out of the fucking wrestling world. Yeah, although the funny thing is, is why did Vin Diesel have one? Like, because Vin yeah, the, Diesel, the guy is lifts, a treasure. but he's not the Rock or Batista. That's he wasn't true. A fighter, you know. I don't know. Maybe his is, his is the no, least it, worst one, though. It, I'm pretty sure. I think he had one because like all of his previous movies were like the really big tough guy ones. Like, yeah, Riddick like Fast and, and like, Furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it was like, oh, oh well, that's now he's got to give him the sensitive side. We need another Riddick movie. Give him the sensitive side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give him the tickler. I'll show you my sensitive side. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah. That's right. We, uh, okay, I guess just wait it out and I mean, there's a lot of good information coming out there. We've got the CDC. We've got uh, the one, the one doctor Fauci or whatever. You know, uh, listen to those guys. <clears throat> oh man, did you see that one? Uh, that one picture that was like the Resident Evil stuff. Along oh yeah, with the yeah, coronavirus yeah, yeah. stuff. That was pretty good. Yeah, the CDC like head guys, Redfield, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, listen to that uh, guy too. Um, they've got some good tips. They've got some good advice. Corona and... is an anagram for raccoon. <laughs> yeah. It does work. It fits. It's disturbing. It's... One Chinese company has the same exact symbol as fucking the Umbrella Corp. Yeah. <laughs> it... I, saw uh... I saw that, and why isn't that happening? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's fucking funny, is what that is. So you know, we'll we'll, we'll all survive for the most part. Um, as long as we know how to love, I know we'll stay alive. And the T virus doesn't emerge from the coronavirus. Yeah, that's why they canceled like the comic cons and stuff. So you know, those greasy fucking bastards would yeah mix it up. Yeah, so it's good that there were. It's really good that everyone's reacting um, this way. And there's some really great companies that are like covering people. Uh, like the NBA, there's a lot of NBA players that are like just paying the salary of like the concession stand guys to make sure that everyone can kind of make it's it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's great. It's a, I mean, that's a great pitch for charity. If you guys can help, you should help. Um, Agreed, and that's something that should act like, I, I, in my opinion, should be like always the default is like, if you can do it, you should. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's uh, how we stop the government from getting too big. Yeah, and failing even with being so large, you know. Right. But I think what we've we figured out is that Greta Thunberg and the Char- Charmin Bears are the cause of this. I knew it. Yeah. <coughs> we, just need mis- Bears. we just need to find Mr. Clean, who's been lost. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Clean. Where is Mr. Clean? Uh, Big Purell. He... Can't forget those guys. Oh, yeah, and Big Purell. I just feel like Mr. Clean, who we needed the most, sanitizer. vanished. We need I, someone to find him in an iceberg in a hundred years. What if we? What if there's <laughs> a the movie <laughs> after yeah. this that's like The Rock starring as Mister Clean saving us from coronavirus? <laughs> would you go see that movie? It'll be yesterday? twenty. I probably would go see that movie. <laughs> yeah. Twenty eight wipes later. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> God. I would see it. Yeah. Twenty eight <laughs> wipes later is probably a better thing after you know. Yeah. Curry. It's beautiful oh, curry. Yeah. Uh, uh, 28 Days Later is a really good movie. It really is. For the most 
I think it dragged on a little too long. I like the like my favorite part is that bastard in the beginning that just like betrays his whole house and just like locks them all off and stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you eat curry, it's blood, Cameron. Yeah, it was always blood. Um, so cool. That's that's it for this after dark. Uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out. Um, wash your fucking hands, and uh, stay away from people. Unlike us <laughs> right now. Yeah, we're within. You know, we'll survive though, so it's okay. <laughs> Will we? Yeah. Dude, Goro, the guy on there wanted us to fight each other for like toilet paper. Yeah, there's right? a guy in the chat saying that we're gonna we're gonna have to dystopian fight for toilet paper and resources. Buddy, we're gonna run Utah. We don't have to fight each other. Yeah. Yeah. We've got we you know how many Costco's we have here? And all a those lot. people. Everyone <laughs> yeah, went. Yeah, but see we keep thinking about yeah, we'll take it over and whatnot, but you know how many people fucking own guns here in Utah? We get guns too. Well, buddy, yeah, you but you die, yeah, motherfucker. You got to be crazy. It's not about the weapons. Yeah, it's about the like crazy. all these. I've seen these like people on Facebook that are like, "Oh, I see people stocking up on toilet paper, but I have ammo." And it's like, I bet you couldn't shoot a person. <laughs> like, oh, you you shoot deer? Cool. Yeah, you <laughs> gotta you gotta Mad Max it, man. Yeah, and you know what? I I just think gotta, I'm crazy enough that it might I might do it. You gotta walk around like mostly naked with some like football equipment uh, that's been you know made to. Look like Mad Max stuff, and then you know, just run around, and people will fear the fuck out of so you. So it's funny you and say so that. You can just wreck the world because there's a there's a cosplay group here in Utah that I wanted to join called the uh, the Wasteland. So I've been making one, and I kind of wanted to get a bunch of them and go to Walmart and go shopping and like Wasteland gear. <laughs> oh, <that'd be laughs> like, like, <laughs> Time to prep. So like my my shitty '93 Camry LE, I wanted to like Mad Max out and just like. Because it's like rusted and shit and just put like spikes and stuff all over it. Nice. That'd be pretty sweet, yeah. That could be pretty rad, dude. Yeah. All right, so I think that's it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, and we will see you again next week if you're still with us. The <laughs>